Um, my lifetime ambition is to outlive the DFS sale. <laughs> it's not going so well. Um, but I live in Southampton for university and um, I've come from Surrey, darling. Please don't judge me. Uh, way. Um, but no, I live in Southampton now and moving to Southampton was fucking scary because you see in the Daily Echo it's just like you know, rapings in the park, stabbings in the car park. But in my Surrey advertiser back at home just before I left to come to university, the front page headline was Ponies, Tails and Manes Stolen. <laughs> it's so crippling the upper class it's actually painful. And then they just had this picture of this grumpy looking man and a naked horse. And if that's not funny enough, it, within, within the, the article it just shows how upper class where I live is. Um, because the man who had his ponies shaved essentially said that he reckons the hair was stolen to make antique rocking horses. <laughs> Is that not the most like, middle class like, crime ever? It's fantastic. Um, but living in Southampton has been a bit of a challenge. Um, who here is a first year? Have we got any first years in? <laughs> we do! How exciting! How was your first day? Was it scary? It was. My first day made me reevaluate whether or not I should be allowed to be an adult. I, three things happened to me on my first day and I should share them with you. The first one, on my way to uni, I tripped over a shadow. <laughs> it's sad but it fucking happened. And number two and three was I punched a pigeon in the face and I whipped a crow with a lanyard. <laughs> So essentially I've started my adult life and all I found out on my first day of university was that I've got poor depth perception and I've got an avian based anger problem. <laughs> it's not going well. Um, but I, I do obviously stand up and my first ever gig, the night before, I managed to develop a heart problem and passed out in my room. You're all staring at me like, fuck, is she going to fall over? But no, it was fine. But the problem was I knocked an empty bottle of Lambrini off of my desk as I passed out. And so I fell face down into the glass. So I started my first performance and I just had to address it. So I just said to them, look, I know I look like I've been attacked by a badger, but I wasn't. I glassed myself in the face. 